bought that membership. Yeah. Where's the chat? That's the best thing I ever, ever did. Well, maybe not the best thing, but it's pretty close. Because I can just run by there in the morning. And then... Do they vacuum your car? Well, no, I do that myself. Um, But you just go through there. And then you just get up there and you get the vacuum and you just go ch -ch -ch -ch. I mean I only am the only person that rides in my car so it only takes me a second then they give you free towels and you just dry the windows you don't have any spots it's so nice I can't make our chat small there we go nope there wow. we didn't go hey Jill hey Jill I guess we're on I guess I lost the chat again if I could learn how to work a mouse, I think it would be easier. Why can't I make it? Oh, there's... All right, we've got Facebook and YouTube. This is two weeks in a row on time and both worked. I don't know what You're, to do. That's just magnificent. Magnificent. It's something. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Oh, I just feel like the whole world's alive again. You know? Well, yeah. You, well, yeah, I mean, you go and there's people out and there's... People are smiling. Yeah, if people you, are starting to stir around again and, and realize that we don't have to be in a cave. Oh my goodness, I just, I can't take, I don't, I don't like it. I don't like, I know it's safer. It's safer. And but it's, I don't like quarantine. You have to be responsible and do your thing. But at the same time, it just, I, I just feel like people were depressed and it was so hard. People were at home. And now it's like, you look at, I mean, it's like the sun's brighter well, and, and the spring is sky's one bluer. one of the best times of the year. I yeah. feel like it's a flower summer. And it's like the whole springtime we've spent inside. And so now that we're able to kind of get out and the parks are opening back up and everything, it's, it's just amazing well and they're saying now that people are commenting Cal california and illinois are still pretty much on lockdown so yeah, i have a friend in pennsylvania and they're on lockdown there too still yeah pennsylvania has been at it for a while mm -hmm. i mean they got it pretty quick and they got it pretty bad but anyway we're vicky, happy to be here vicky said houston traffic is back that is not what i'm looking forward to which Schools are done, so we'll at least have a little reprieve until school starts again, but come the fall. I told you oh last goodness. week, I was so excited to be in the traffic. I'm like, there's people out. I think that's crazy that you even said that, but it's okay. It was a sign of normalcy. I guess And, you so. know, nobody wants to sit in traffic, but it was just a sign of something normal. And going home with no traffic and you zip through and there's no people on the road that's not it normal. was kind of really spooky that first couple of weeks yeah i was like oh my goodness yeah poor so. linda she said they're quarantined in virginia and it's gonna rain for a week you know what get you some movies ready well i bought puzzles i love puzzles yeah. i got a big puzzle. you know everybody's out of puzzles or everyone was out of puzzles around here my friends on facebook were posting well i'm not gonna stop i've got one on my kitchen table right now I like puzzles. Yeah, it's something to do. I mean, so. I'm not going to say I've ever had the patience to finish one, but I like them. Okay. All right. So, cap construction. That is what we're talking about today. All right. So All about it. We get, we. I think we've done cap construction before. We have, but we still get a lot of questions about it, especially for people that are new. And there's so many terms. And if you're new to wigs, it's like a whole nother language uh, that you have to learn and figure out what the nuances are because the thing about cap construction there's not one that's better than the other it's what's best for you so you always have to keep that in mind so we have people that come in all the time and say well I want um, lace front that's the best well it depends on what style you want if you want a style where you don't wear a bang then lace front is probably the best style for you but if you're gonna wear a bang there's no point in having lace front. Yeah, because, I mean, something about our society, they always equate more money with something that's better. In a lot of cases, is that's true. But with a wig, when you're talking about synthetics, we only do top quality. So when we're talking about price differences, it only has two factors, length of the hair and cap construction. So the hair you're getting is all the same. So it's not necessarily better or worse. <laughs> Deborah wrote, puzzles are used in nursing homes, so we need to practice. That's right, because <laughs> it ain't going to be long. Somebody oh. told me yesterday, they were talking about, uh, these are my best friends, y'all. 
talking about when their when my goddaughter graduates, it's going to be 15, 2035. And he made the comment, he's like, Misty, if you're even here. <laughs> of course, I know he was joking, but I was like, you better watch it. But just think about that. So if we're puzzle, if I'm doing puzzles now, you're gonna I'll be like place. the master puzzler at the nursing home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm going to work harder on that. You should. <laughs> Everybody should have goals. I've been working on this puzzle of YouTube and Facebook for how long now? A long time. I ain't never going to master it. Yeah. You, never. You, you got it. Okay. Uh, there's lots of comments. If yeah. you have a specific question, I know somebody's asking if they can ship a wig to us to fix. If you have a specific question like that, always email us um, and we'll get back to you one-on-one. Um, like YouTube can't see what Facebook's saying. Facebook can say what YouTube's saying. So sometimes it sounds like we're talking in, in clue. We're not. And um, we're reading both of your comments. So if you have a specific question about your specific wig, email us. You can send it to Misty at Mimi'sWigBoutique.com or Kim at Mimi'sWigBoutique.com and we'll address that then. Yeah. So, oh, we got somebody from the Highlands of Scotland. <gasps> We've got a lot of people from. We got uh, Canyon Hills, California. Just makes me want to play a bagpipe. Florida, um, El Paso, New York City. I saw a couple people from New York City. So, welcome all of you. Come one, come all. <laughs> okay, before we talk about cap construction, I don't know if anybody's been on the website lately, but we got a whole bunch of new haps. In, haps. Haps. We got haps. <laughs> That's a new term that I'm going to use that combine cap and hat. hat. Yeah. Some haps. But we got some new hats in. And we are all about supporting our country. This is the cutest blingy hat I've ever seen. So it's cadet shape. We've got that. We've also got this cute camo with that a one, sequin star. That one comes in black, too. Yes. And we have this sequin um, bow. I just think this is the cutest thing. Isn't that cute? Pink, black, and white in yeah. this one. So cute. So anyway. And I think on we've already reordered on those. Yeah, they're going fast. Yeah. So anyway, we added a bunch of new hats, a bunch of new weekenders, things like that. So if you want to go look for hats. Okay, now Ruth, back to the task at hand. Ruth is still waiting for Misty to sing. I know I'm Girl. gonna get I'm gonna get her on I'm gonna get her one day. I made sev- I've made several videos of her, but I haven't <laughs> found that right one. Because the videos when I sing up here, I'm being dumb. Oh yeah, that's the best kind. Yeah. And so once I do that, then I'm gonna have to figure out how to post it. If you ever want blackmail pictures or anything, oh Marsha, Marsha should work for the CIA or yeah. something because I like be randomly sitting at home enjoying a day off. And I'll get a text message from her, and I'm like, oh, what's going on at work? And it'll be some dumb picture of me up here. <laughs> One time, y'all, this is way back in the day, I was sleeping. I was, like, sitting like this. I think I had probably a little bit of slower coming out. We used to take naps. You remember that, Kim? <laughs> back in the day. Marsha never deletes a picture. No, she doesn't. And if you don't act right, she's going to just set you straight, and mm-hmm. here's a picture of you. I need to fix my Facebook where she can't put them. Yeah. All right. Well, somebody already noticed. I don't know if you read the description, but we're starting out in Reese. Mm-hmm. Misty's favorite. favorite wig. Um, I'm wearing I Smoke R. And I've got on um, Auburn Sugar R. Which I love. Auburn Sugar is a good Auburn mm-hmm. Auburn tone. It doesn't have a whole lot of, like, it, the undertone is great. It's not real coppery. It's not real violet. It's just a great wig. Our friend Wendy's on from Amsterdam. Hi, Wendy. Hi, Thank Wendy. you for joining us because I know it, well, it's 7 o'clock there. Somebody's asking for the camo again. Hold it up. So it's a cadet shape. This star is like kind of sequin. It's it's like an applique. Really cute. Yeah, it is cute. And we have more coming. Um, we've got a big olive and peak order coming, uh, but it hasn't come in yet. So and most of you guys know shipping's a little weird right now. So it's hard to time. Always, I, I add it. something just about every single day. So always go back and add. All oh, right, and while we're on the subject, lip sense. We added our lip sense because people have been asking. I'm wearing the Napa. And I'm wearing Fire and Ice, and someone already commented about the Fire and Ice. Oh, they did? Mm-hmm. Oh, they're reading the... She got the oh, descriptions done ahead of time, so that was another big milestone. Everyone should be scared. <laughs> I'm scared of y'all. Y'all scared me. Anyway, Reese is by Noriko. They're yes. in the descriptions, and they're all in the order that we're going to go in. And Reese is a machine-made cap, so it doesn't have any hand-tied features at all. I have some notes here somewhere. Um, they also have different names for that. 
open cap we were uh, talking about? Open, ca they'll, mm -hmm. uh, you'll see sometimes it'll be called an open cap. Sometimes they'll call it capless. Um, but that's a Tony and Beverly calls it air cap. Air so, cap? Air cap. But we'll, we'll show you what that is. Don't they have a description of something being on a diet too? They do. <laughs> Soft hedge or some things, like something on a diet. I mean, I can't I escape the whole him, diet. I'm like, they're even giving me a complex about the weight of my weed. Yeah. So this, of course, I have makeup on the inside of mine. Um, but this is what a wefted machine-made wig looks like. A lot of the wigs have this. This is called wefting. So the main part we're going to look at is up here at the top today, minus the makeup. Kim's doesn't have all that gunk in hers that mine does. But um, this is just what they call machine made with permatease. Shelly from Idaho says she's been shopping on our website. She and has. Somebody had a question of um, how do, what's the closest color to sugar brulee? Is that a John Renault color? I, I, I don't. I don't know. We go I, by number. So yeah. if you have the number for it, we can tell you. Yeah. Um. But anyways, let's talk about permatease. Permatease is at the base, and what Permatease does is it gives you more lift and volume. So if you like a wig that is has more volume and you like layers, then that's what it's going to have. Some people look at it and they think it looks like it's ratted up or knotted up. That's a design feature. That's not a flaw. And that is in order to give you more lift. So if you don't like that lift, there's some other cap constructions that we're going to talk about that you're going to like a whole lot better. Um, but for us in Texas, we like our big old hair. So. I certainly do. Yeah. But yeah, it's and a lot of people will ask if they're in danger of brushing that out because these, to me, when you're wearing a Permatease wig or a machine made wig, these brushes are my favorite because these little pins really get down in there and you can really, I mean, you can probably hear me up next to the microphone but um it really loosens that fiber up but you're never going to brush that out it's actually separate hairs that they put in there and they're crimped so they do look like teasing right so um someone commented that the uh, sugar brulee is a tressler color we don't carry tressler so i'm not familiar another person from oh no you said scotland oh no no there was somebody else big waves from ireland a minute ago so that's okay. a few people from ireland ireland just i was supposed to be going but that's a major major faux pas to say oh scotland oh i meant ireland yeah you you don't confuse the two i'm so yeah. sorry so sorry i don't get out that, much. that's like saying you know you're from confused you're Oklahoma Texas and, and Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a bad thing. I'd rather say Louisiana personally, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go on. So machine made. This is the most basic type cap you're going to find. But yes. I love it yeah. personally. So. Wendy, you're right. Noriko does not mention, they don't, Noriko does not do their color by numbers with a couple of exceptions. Um, everything else is a name. So an exception to that would be in Noriko, they make a 60. They used to make a 51 and a 38, but I think they've even got away from yeah. that now. Yeah, so everything else is by, <laughs> by name. All right, what's next? Next, we're going to go to Lace Front Machine Made. I put them in order. I asked Misty earlier today, do you feel like you're working with a five-year-old? Because it's like, I didn't do anything to prepare today. I told I did her no, nothing. I felt like I was a five-year-old. I did nothing. She did everything. What brush are you using? I'm using the John Renault brush. We sell both of these. Yeah. So these, the John Renault ones I love for longer fiber wigs. It's like a paddle brush with plastic pins. And I'm putting on Venice Blonde, which is 22 F16 S8. I'm doing the 60, speaking of number colors. 60 is always pure platinum white. You know what we just did? What? What we, did we do? We brushed a heat to buy a wig. We sure did. You don't do what we did. You you need to pick them with the John Renault pick, which I had one. I buried it. So, okay, this Ignite is lace front with everything else being wefted and machine made. Debbie, we're wearing our wig grips, but we're also using a liner on top of our wig, our wig grips. So. For our own personal wigs, we do not wear that liner. It's they're pantyhose, they're hot, they don't breathe, um, and they they tend to slip a good bit. I love this 
wait i, I do too i kind of get sidetracked when we're on here because i start looking at the mirror and start working on the wig yeah this is a great style so so what this does because you've got the lace front and then you've got the machine made cap you get some lift um, you have the bent, you not wearing your bangs, so you have the benefit of being able to look like your hairline. Are I'll we switching? What? No, I'll just show oh. you what. So what you're talking about? So this is what she's talking about. Yes, Amy um, purchased a wig from our website yesterday, and she wants to know if um, she comes into the store, will we um, help her with it, customize it, whatever? Yes, yes, we will. Yes. All right, we gotta switch. Okay, we didn't switch our Reese's. That's okay, because my Karen Fox, you are right. Yes, you're. We we should have picked it. What? She said that she thought you were supposed to use a pick on oh, yeah. a heat defiant wig and not a brush. But everything else we got today was regular fiber. I just wasn't even thinking. Yeah. Okay, so just people like it when we switch colors. So here's. Okay, Bettina's asking if permatease can ever be found on hand-tied wigs. No. So we're going to show you the differences in those. The purpose of a hand-tied wig is to not have any teasing. They're generally more sleek and flat um, and not meant to give you a whole lot of fullness. So, again, this gives you kind of the best of both mm -hmm. because it gives you the lace if you don't want to bang. So you can see. You can this see that. cap feels smaller that than one, that one. That one did feel yeah. really small. But it gives you this fullness up in here, which I like to go in and, and give myself some fullness at the crown with products and then wear this a little bit sleeker. All right, let me so. answer a couple questions. Okay. Uh, yes, we are still appointment only. Uh, they're fill up quick, so be sure and call us uh, to get your appointment scheduled. And uh, the wig grip that we suggest is by Milano. They're the originators for the wig grip. Um, we sell them on our site. Uh, they come in three colors, tan, brown, and black and they work the best. They do. Yeah. I watched a lot of different review videos of different liners, just seeing, I mean, because we only have ever sold the original. So even after watching people I'd never met and didn't know, everyone kind of agrees these are yeah. the best. Yeah, and we see things come through the store that are kind of knockoffs and they just, they don't work well. Yeah, and if you're gonna pay, I mean, for something that's gonna last you, just take my advice get the milano so yes Catherine says that she sent us a picture i haven't checked that yet but i did see mm -hmm. where um you sent the message so i can't wait to see it yeah all right let's go to the next one okay lace front mono part So if you're following along on the description, this is gonna be the Ellis by Aesthetica. So this shows you, this is the top. So you see the lace front, and you see that that little section right here is the monofilament, and that's the part. So you can't generally change the part on a mono part because it's meant to be only right there. Oh, so much stretchier from yeah. the last one. And this is that new Ellis with that really blunt yeah, people as old as me don't understand that. I'm having issues with my widow's peak today. But it's the style. It is the style. I mean, even see how blunt this is? Even when I brush it, it's got good movement. Um, even if I were to take a flat iron to my hair, I could never, ever get it this straight. Yeah. And ever. this is lightweight. It doesn't have a whole lot of hair. Sorry, oh, you got yours way. all poofed up. Our chairs are so noisy. We got to we got to get some more chairs. Well, I think we just need to use the WD-40. I guess so. Anyway, this is Ellis. We did a, a wig talk Wednesday where we unboxed this. Yeah. It's actually a cute wig. It is cute. Um, it's a good young curl. So I've got on Silver Sun Rooted. Oh, what do I have on? Caramel Kiss, I think. No. Um, 628. 826H. Oh, which is kind of close to Caramel Kiss, but it's a little bit less red. All right, you want to switch? Yeah, I like this wig. When I very first put it on, I wasn't crazy about it, but then the more I put it on and try it, the more I like it. I mean, I like it, it's just not me. 
I somebody's asking about my blush. I wear a a, a Mac palette and oh, it's literally it's scary. I use, it's scary when she does it. It's got like six colors, and she just takes the brush and she just goes all I around. Use if I would is never. Good, six is better. I would never be that brave. If we did a video, a get ready with us video, but once we watched it back, we realized you're probably gonna be more confused than. We're gonna redo it. Yeah. I love this wig. You should get it. That color's gorgeous on you. I wouldn't wear it. I Why found. Not? I don't know. I just found that since I colored my hair back, I haven't worn my blonde I, wig pretty much. And I'm finally at the point where I'll change colors. I know you're wearing dark. I need to. I need to go. But yeah, this is cute. Yeah, mono part. Okay, uh, we're being asked if bangs could be cut into it. Oh sure, this is regular fiber. So, um, although sometimes I don't really know why people would pay the expense of getting a lace front if you're going to cut a bang in it, but the thing of it is, the price point on this is you're just paying for that mono part and the lace so you're not paying near as much as if you were to get something that's full mono top so yeah you could cut a bang in this oh nancy says she has my same earrings these are lula and lee and we sell them in the store and they're just my favorite those are cute well and the thing is some people um want to wear a bang but they want that lace front in case the wind blows up they want that security um on mine that where I don't have lace, if the wind's blowing, I just tilt my head down so it the wind hits here and it doesn't blow up. You know what? I don't have a bob with things. Maybe we'll try that. Maybe we'll do that on a video. Yeah. Just try to customize this and see how it turns out. I think it would turn out great. Let's do it. All right. We haven't done one of those in a long time. <sighs> okay. So jumping from there. Mono. Uh, yes, mono, a single monofilament top. Yes. I'll let you talk about this one. This is my favorite wig. Oh, no. So, this is Jolie by Noriko. It's a single monofilament. This wig has been cut for me. A um, couple things have been done. Missy's going to put one on that has never had anything done to. And so you can see kind of the difference between the way I like to wear it and the way it normally comes. So this is straight from the box. I would show you in the same color, but it's... <laughs> it's back ordered and I can't even get a new one right now. So. So. Be about that. This is So the Jolie. thing about Jolie that um, I love the shape, but right in the part, it's got an extremely... Uh, straight part and so I don't really feel like anybody has a perfectly straight part like that um, and I also feel like it's heavy here and so um, but the chassis of it I love and so what Misty created for me is I like the part more over directed so she over directs the part and she messes it up and then cuts me some wispies here and then she'll do some blending around my face. So, and then once that all happens, I am happy. Yeah, this makes a good like swoop bang if you have a high forehead. Yeah. But if you don't have a very high forehead, then it tends to get really heavy. Yeah. But yeah, you can see it doesn't even look like we're really wearing the same wig. Yes, we're gonna show the inside of the Jolie so you can see what a single monofilament. And looks we're gonna like. I'm gonna make her switch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so I'm gonna look like Kim for a minute. This uh, this chocolate frost. This is the first thing I went to with a few little highlights. Ooh. <laughs> that, <laughs> this got some hair sticking out. I pulled can that out of the back of the closet. <laughs> the top, it has what's like like we said a single mono, which means it's one layer of fabric. So that allows you. It really starts to take on. Let me do it with my fingernail, and you might can see it better. See my fingernail under there? So it really starts to take on. This works especially well if you don't have any hair. It'll kind of take on the skin tone that you have. If you do have hair, it's fine. You saw Kim wears it all the time. So Gail's wanting to know if we have um, a suggestion for shampoo conditioner for thinning hair. Um, the Bosley system, we had one of our clients, we did a client con consultation with, we had her demo that and she had great results. She did. I mean, it's kind of one of those things um, we've kind of toyed around with with selling it, but we haven't really decided. But if you see that Bosley system, it works good. 
Uh, Debbie is asking, how do I buy your wigs? She's been following us. Our website, our online store is shopmimisdallas.com. And you'll be able to go online and buy whatever you want. I don't know why I always feel so... It's like I'm doing something wrong when I put one of your wigs on. <laughs> oh, It's like, you know, when you have the big sister and she says, don't wear my sweater. And you just want to wear the sweater so bad. And you sneak in there and you get a sweater. That's what I feel like when I'm wearing Kim's wig. One Halloween, y'all all wore my wig. I know. To, uh, dressed up like me for Halloween. We did. We wore all That's the same color shirts. a little bit offensive. Kind of wrong. It is not. Like, I'm a Halloween character. No, we just want to be just like you, Kim. We just want to be just like you. <laughs> Jolice like Noriko. Yes, Karen, my allergies are killing me. I don't have a cold, but my allergies. My ears are so stopped up, so I'm trying not to scream into this microphone because I really can't tell how loud I'm talking. Well, and I'm I'm one of those people that I have allergies on the day that nobody else does. Yeah, it might have been bad this year. Oh, she wants to see the back of the jersey. Oh. We sold our last mocha highlight that we had this week to someone on our website, and I customized it to be just like Kim's. I'm mailing it out today. Yeah, and I wanted it real I As bad. I was doing it, I'm like, Kim, you're going to be so jealous because <laughs> this wig is hanging so good. Yeah. But so we'll get more. We will. Not right. too long after that. So that's single monofilament top. I'll give that back to you. Thank you. You're welcome. Now for double monofilament. Yes. So, one company that kind of has the market on this is Amore, which is by Adirans. They do have some now that are um, single, but this is double. And I always want to say Amore. I just, always said it until I started talking to Alicia. But then our rep told us it's Amore. And there is no little accent mark, but anyway. So, so this is double mono. Amore so. sounds all Frenchy and stuff. I mean, why would you call it Amore? Maybe they don't want to be associated with the French. Okay. Maybe they want to be Italian or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway. even in even in Italian, it's amore. It's amore. That's what the song is anyway. That's amore. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's the double mono. Okay. Debbie's asking, can we get Kim's cut on that with uh, coming in, or is it impossible without coming in? Yeah. We just we, ask you to measure. I've done that so many times. We were you were a little apprehensive at first, but it works. All right, this is Cody. The good thing about having a double mono is say, for instance, your hair is as dark as this wig I'm putting on. Um, you really won't get that scalp effect because it's going to take on the color of your hair. So this, having the double mono, it has that flesh tone fabric. So you can still see it like it's scalp. And I have it on in dark chocolate. Um, my Jolie color is Mocha Highlight. So, Cody's similar in styling to Jolie. It's got a few differences. Uh, Jolie has more height and volume in the crown. Um, but and it's longer. And it's so longer. Cody's shorter. Cody's shorter. I'll show you the back. It has almost like a little neckline cut. Um, it's been a really popular style. I don't know why I never got one of these. I say this every time. I put it, why have I gotten this? Um, All right. Did you say what color you had on? Dark chocolate. Yes, I did. I'm on honey wheat. I like this. Yeah. I mean, it's a little dark, but I like it. The That's dark's much. pretty on you. But I really... Oh, this, my gosh. What? Trish wrote, if I wore a double mono wig wrong side out, it would look like... I do without a <laughs> People crack us up. Yes. A lot of people have gone to Cody that have worn Jolie. Because the thing of it is, I experimented once with cutting the back of Kim's Jolie to give it that more stacked kind of look. It doesn't really cut all that well because the back of Jolie is, is kind of like a shag. So it has that layering and that messiness and that wisp down the neck. So if you want something shorter, um, Cody is an excellent choice. And I just love this honey wheat color. It's not real gold. It's oh, Deborah, thank you for replying to Erica. Can I, yeah, uh, the customizations that we do on wigs are included in the price of the wig. So if you go to our website, see whatever the price was, and then uh, just 
call us and talk to us about what you want to do or there's a place where you can put it in the notes what you want and then we'll start corresponding with you to figure out exactly um, how we can do what you need to mm-hmm. it. Um, it takes a little bit of lead time um, to get it from beginning to end because we like to do it and we like it to sit and um, then you have the option of shipping it. We'll actually sh- ship it on a head inside a box. It's a little bit pricier to do that, but it really saves it in the long run. Oh, Mr. Mimi's watching. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Mr. Mimi. Nay and Dad. Nay and Dad. Um, Debbie wants to know if it would fit a 20, would Jolie fit a 23-inch head? So my head's about 22 and a half, and I cut the bands out. I cut the little, they have these little bra strap looking things. Um, to tighten or loosen your wig, I know I am never going to tighten my wig, and so I cut those out, and I get more stretch, and um, it works for me. Paula says we need to create an app that we can upload their face and try on wigs. That would be amazing. Mm-hmm. I wonder who we talked to about that. You know, like at Ulta, you can do that. You can try makeup colors. Yeah. I wonder if we could do that with wigs. They do it with hair. I, I think I saw an app like that. But I mean, like with our wigs. Um, Cody is, <clears throat> yeah, it's a tight fit. It's the cap size is real close to what Noriko is. Mm-hmm. I think Renee Paris sometimes runs bigger than either of those two. Um, Tammy's also asking, does the Jol- Jolie have any stretch? It does. Like Kim's saying, if you're 22 inches, 22 and a half, that's her head size. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. What's right. next? So that was double mono. Y'all taking your notes? Um, Let's go on. Let's see. Lace monofilament. What what does that mean? They can do it with glasses. I don't know. Let's see it. From Yvonne. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe can you wear glasses? I wear glasses. Uh, Kim and I have almost the same exact size circumference. So she's 22 and a half, and I'm like 22 and three quarters. I mean, maybe my brain was feeling full that day. I don't know. (laughs) So generally, we can wear about the same size. The thing of it is, I always tell people, and I had this long conversation, don't get so caught up on head size because it really depends. Every brand runs differently. So the only thing that is pretty well consistent across the board is Noriko runs smaller than anybody else. All right. Uh, what the comment about glasses is that they they have apps where before you buy glasses online. Really? You, yes. You can try the glasses on. Because I need new glasses. I, I, I think I need, like, real glasses. Well, I'm going. I'm supposed to be going Saturday. I'm going to take my daddy and get him some. And I told him I would get me some, too. Sunny Buffalo. Nice. All right. What's next? Uh, lace monofilament. Okay. And we're going to do it in Veda. And this is what that looks like. This is um, Amore, and this is one of their newer collections. And what the, what's interesting, they reinforce the most delicate part of this cap is right here where the lace and the monofilament are surged together. And so once you separate that, I, I will say it is ne- almost next to impossible to repair. I mean, we've done it. Um, it's not a good idea. But it's it, it doesn't look right, doesn't feel right. Anyway, it doesn't glue back right. Um, so they reinforce this so you get a really nice, strong surge oh there. My goodness, that's a lot of hair. Yeah, I don't really understand. I guess the zigzag is just for strength. I don't know why, but it's cute. It makes it look pretty. Oh, Sharon, no. Um, Mocha Highlight is not the same as Sandalwood. Oh, it is so far from the same. This is Veda. We haven't featured a Veda in a while. Veda's a great long lob, is what they call it. Um, it does have a bang in it. I'm doing it in toasted brown. And I've got smoky gray R. And someone asked about the shine. Yeah, it's the lights, but so also and, dry shampoo is going to help. We didn't really talk at the beginning. We did about the the mono part. The benefit of having a full mono. At the top is you can change the part. Um, so, you know, you can pretty well train them in. I'll just try to do that with this one and just yeah. see if it works. Yeah, you could do that. But anyway, it has the mono up here, 
the lace front. <coughs> Hit three. Wow, this. this I is love not, that smoky gray art color. Um, I don't oh, like it on me. We didn't talk about the Cody. Oh. Well, that'll be a surprise show. Yeah. Okay. So you want to switch? Okay. Um, someone's asking what brands have the least amount of shine. The thing about shine, when you get into the lighter colors, every brand's going to have shine. So I deal, I mean, you know, I pretty much always wear blonde. I've got some other things, but I spray it down with dry shampoo. Um, and that's what we recommend to control the shine. Um, that's your best option. Uh, so. Well, and if you think about it, like say you're going to go buy a new pair of jeans. You know, jeans always look better after they're worn. You know, after they've been washed a few times and the, the material is kind of... Same thing with a wig. I mean, I think a wig always looks better after you've washed it a couple of times and got some product in it. It just starts to look more like hair. So, but yes, we use a lot of bright light. Yeah. And so that really is picking up shine. Did we show the back? No, but that color is so pretty on you. A little bit of an angle here. I just need it out of my face. What color hair band is the best? Depends on the color of your wig. So what we generally go by is matching the inside of your wig. So if the inside of your wig is brown, then we would say a brown one. If the inside of your wig is tan, we'd say tan. Mm -hmm. Few exceptions to that, but um, that's the best answer I can come up with. I mean, that's what we do for our own. So, I'm sorry, I'm just reading. Um, so, it, you know, sometimes when you've got a rooted, like my rooted blonde ones, um, the inside is brown because the root is dark. So even though the wig may be blonde, um, the root's dark, so I wear a brown wig grip. Yeah, and that just keeps it from, like say for instance, you're wearing, imagine this being your wig grip, even though it's just that throwaway liner. And the inside of this wig itself is black. So you want to kind of just make sure everything's a little, you know, a little bit more cohesive in the color exchange. So dark with dark, light with light. All right. Someone's asking if you can use regular hair products on wigs. Um, you can. They're it just, it's a little, depends. You don't want to put any heavy lacquer hairspray on it. So any medium hold hairspray um, is okay to wear it use on a wig. I mean, you're not going to ruin the wig, but it overcoats it and it gets gummy and then you've got to take additional steps when you wash it in order to get all that product out. We are happy that we're now carrying the pretty much the entire John Renault product line and that's a, a video that we're going to do soon is we're going to try them on air. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just to experiment and see what you think. So, all right, last one. Lace front 100% hand tied. This is obviously the most expensive option because everything is hand tied. So it does have a lace front and it'll have different sections where all these are tied. And you can see my fingernails under here. So that's it's really got, thin and stretchy. It's got a stretchy cap. Um, someone asked earlier why a hand tied wig never, doesn't have permatease. It's, it's two different animals. Um, Permatease is what is for a machine made cap. And when you have hand tied, every single hair is individually hand mm -hmm. knotted in the, <clears throat> in the wig. So that that's just different. But always the hair is the same. So we always tell people you're, you're the extra money is from the labor cost. I mean, Tony, this is from Tony and Beverly, but they actually say it takes over 80 hours to actually make one of these wigs that is 100% hand tied. I wouldn't have that job. There's no way I'd sit there for 80 hours working on it. No patience. I have no yeah. patience. If it can't happen in eight minutes, I ain't doing it. This is Christy by uh, John Renault and 22F16. One of our most popular bobs. Yeah. It's a good classic bob. It is. I'm wearing it in the um, 39F38. Just come in several gray colors. So. Someone's making the comment that the darker wig looks like it has more hair. Hang on. I am brushing. You're messed up. Um, a lot of times just changing color 
and when you go darker it does look like it's got more hair and when you go to a lighter color it looks lighter and airier so uh, look at that that actually that goes with my widow's peak and everything it sure does the way that sweeps like my own hair that color is beautiful on you you need that one too I might. <laughs> I'm running out of room I try to leave my wigs here because if they get to my house some of them I don't have a lot of room yeah took me 80 hours just to sew into oh that reminds me I got to sew in clips okay on a wig I'm mailing <coughs> all right me. you want to switch sure issues with um Becky's asking if we have any super short asymmetrical. Uh, check out Natalie. Check out Jet. Jet. Jet by Aesthetica. <coughs> Jet's relatively new. It is a fantastic style. Now you do have a Jet. I do. And that's that's the one I've chosen to use the John Renault products on. Yeah. I'm gonna start with it completely product free, put it on my head, and use some of that fiber piece out cream. This is 39F38. Someone's asking about the gray color. Uh, this color is 39F38. I love this 22F16, but it needs a root. Well, For this me. one's hanging better than that one, I think. Yeah. South Australia, Adelaide. Oh, I watched this show. Where was it based? Tasmania or something? And they kept talking about going over to Australia. And I'm like... I want to go. <laughs> yeah, Misty, maybe you need a wig closet. I do. I need a shoe closet. I do have a jeans closet. Okay, so someone's asking, how do we store our wigs at home? You can, sometimes the stands and the heads take up more room, and I've got a lot of wigs. So what I use are empty wine bottles. You can use an empty glass vase, because we all have tons of those. But you just want to store it upright. So if we'll pretend like the brush is a stand and you just store it like that and that way it's upright and it's not laying down so somebody becky's saying she has a jet but she's looking for a more shaved look i don't know if you're gonna find one any shorter, shorter. Mm -mm. they have to have enough hair to cover the cap so you're never going to find anything that's going to have so little hair you're going to see the wefting because then it just says I have a wig on. So um, now you, Heather was pretty sure Heather was by Renee Paris was actually cut up over the ears, but I think they discontinued that. I think no. Did they? Think so I think we did. Okay. I don't um, know. I don't know that. All right. But I've never seen anything shorter. I was so excited when we got that one in. Mm -hmm. But you can. I did cut that point off. For um, someone who ordered it, um, so we just cut that little point off so it made it appear shorter everywhere. Yeah. All right, what's coming up? Well, um, the caption contest. Everybody, we've already had somebody redeem. Good. So we got two more people out there, and then we've got the new hat. So make sure you check out the website yes. shopmimi'sdallas.com. And we will be adding to that as soon as we get some of our other shipments in. Yes. And anything new coming out? I think everything's come out that was coming out new. I don't think there's any more styles that are going to come out until probably late summer. We've got one more um, before that I'm going to upload. Uh, we've got, okay, we do have something new coming out. What? And I don't know when it's going to happen, but Aesthetica added to their smoke line. Their sm oh, yeah. And they've got some color called Smoky Rose, and I saw it on their inter inventory list. So I immediately jumped on I'm like, oh, I need to see this color. Well. It's not coming out. They're going to make it in jet, um, but we don't know when it's going to come out. I'm thinking probably August, maybe Speaking September. Speaking of jet, jet has been really popular, and we got a bunch of colors in. Mm -hmm. And we don't have every color, but if you've been waiting on jet, go to the website. They're already loaded. Um, I bet we got probably at least three quarters of the colors. There's Tracy, just a couple. You're right. He Heather is on sale on our website. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, we have a whole special sale section. Yeah. Which Check is selling fast. We need to add some stuff to it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that about covers it. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Um, Seems like it's been really calm today. <laughs> I know, it's nice. Like, I want to tell you something exciting, but 
Um, I think just normal is exciting. I think so too. Yeah. I think so too. All right. Uh, I think she might have asked this question twice and I'm going to try to get to it. How's the size run with John Renault and Raquel Welch? They're, to me, they're pretty well the same. Um, the It depends on the style. I mean, it, it really does depend on the cap construction. I generally find 100% hand tie like we have on fit a little bit more snug mm -hmm. than the open cap, the wefting. Um, but when it comes down to it, like I said, the only thing we can always guarantee is Noriko is going to run smaller. Right. All right, so. let me answer just a couple things real quick. Okay. The website, the online store is shopmimisdallas.com. My email address is kim at mimiswigboutique.com. Misty's is misty at mimiswigboutique.com. So. And we try to get right on it, but. Uh, Tracy wants to know if we can talk about lip scent sometime. Sure. Yeah, if you're not familiar with LipSense and you want to know about it, it's just, you know, we'll we'll talk about it. Yeah, we have our own pre-printed instruction card on how to do it because you've got to put it on a spe special way. So That's right, because we're special. <laughs> we no, require special lipstick. The, the, the LipSense is special. We are not special. All right. We are too special. All right, got to go to work. We've got appointments. Um, All right, You guys, guys have a great week. Have a very happy and safe Memorial Day holiday. And um, get your notifications on because you never know when we're going to pop up. That's right. Everyone have a great week.